morning, everyone. I'm having a cup of... Good morning. I have a couple... I gotta answer a couple questions. Bill Baxter asked, do you use some sort of paint over the copper bottom? Yeah, you can. We've done it before, um, but the copper works good enough. Just a guy that loves guns and fishing asks, do the nails damage the boat in any way, or is it fine to just hammer on any new pieces onto the boat? Well, after you repair it so many times, you probably don't want to go too crazy with the nails, but um, all in all, I don't think it damages the boat too much, because the nails only go in about maybe that far into the wood, and the wood's about that thick. I guess, comparatively speaking, the nails would damage the boat less than the worms, obviously. Right. And um, also, if it, there wasn't any copper on it, you get barnacles and things, and when you scrape, that would damage the wood just doing that and having the barnacles eat into the wood. So, Roy Reynolds said, Pete, you know what to build with that leftover copper, right? And then Old Goat wrote, a moonshine still? <laughs> Lake Sorrel asks, and how long can the bottom last before you have to replace the entire thing and slash the wood? Oh, the wood? Like if you, you know, like, how long can the copper bottom last, or when do you have to replace the wood on it? Well, the wood should last, you know, for hundreds of years, but um, you wind up replacing parts of the wood, but you wouldn't have to replace all the wood. And usually the top sides get sanded off more than they get. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Scares a lot of people is going to sea with a boat that you can't really inspect thoroughly because it's got the copper on it. Yeah, and this person no just to, asked. Okay. There's no way to peel all the copper off and inspect it. But. Yeah, Blake Sorrel asked this. How do you know that you don't have more rot un hidden underneath the copper? Well, we definitely rinsed the bilge so we can check the bilge from the top side yeah, so we can see it come out. But somebody asked, and I thought it was a really good question, was, can you explain why you copper bottom a wood boat? And I don't know who it is, and I'm sorry, I, I gotta look for the question. Because the paint will get s scrubbed off. I mean, the paint is getting worse and worse these days. It doesn't work as good as it used to. And so you put it on, it costs you 500 bucks. You put it on, you go in the water, and in about three or four months, you gotta scrub the bottom. Now you're scrubbing off the paint you just put on there. The paint will scrub off. Copper won't. I mean, it will, but it's a lot harder to scrub the copper off. It gets war, but it doesn't come totally How off. How thick is the copper? The it's, copper metal? It's about a sixteenth of an inch. Sixteenth. That's a lot of paint. <laughs> well, it's, it's just, it's very, it's metal. Yeah. So thank you guys for submitting those. And uh, anyways, I'm going to get to work. <laughs> Alright. I organized Pete's truck all nice yesterday while he was working on my bus. So I'll need this and this. And I'll need a screwdriver. And I'll need my paint. I want to share with you guys. Pete doesn't know, but he doesn't want me to seal the decks yet because I don't know why. <laughs> I'm going to seal them. I'm going to seal them up today because Pete's not going to be around. Layla's not going to be around. Nobody's going to be around to step on the decks. So I'm going to seal them up. Figured we'd do the second coat when we got in the water, but since we're waiting to go in the water. We might as well get a few more things done. Okay. Anyway. And so what I gotta do is I gotta sweep it off, wipe it down, and then start putting some stuff on it.
a nice rope. The deck's looking really good. Here, lean back, Courtney, and look at the camera so we can see the, how nice of a job he did. And show him the brush. <laughs> <laughs> she, her back's getting tired. She don't want to play around. Uh -uh. But that new color is just stunning. Yeah. With the white and everything. Oh, man. Now, this that's is what I was excited about. This is why I wanted to do the I deck. I hear ya. That looks yachty. Hey, tell them about the, uh, the starter. Oh, the starter's bad on the bus. We're pretty sure it's the starter. Yeah, because you put it all together and it, it, it started, everything worked good, right? Yeah, it's running good, but it's having a hard time starting just like before. Okay. When we thought it was from the cold. Yeah. But it's really, you know, a combination of the starter being bad and cold, I think. Basmati rice and... What if I fry this rice in here for a minute? Oh, yeah. I gotta lay down. Stay good, too, if we don't eat them all. Then I... We're whipping the end of this. Oh, yeah, good like idea. That. You know, taking it through there and whipping it together. And then going out and around, you know, like we do. Yeah, and then whip it the other and side. And then whip it on the other side. Okay, task number two. Pete's gonna go around and varnish the wood piece that goes around the bulwarks. He finished the net. I'll show you the net in a second. And I'm gonna actually um, use the vacuum sander and sand the skylight. And we got a couple other things, but I'll show you. First, I gotta fill up. Pete some vinegar for his spray bottle so he can go around and kind of spray with vinegar, what I'm talking about. Um, Pete is going to varnish this piece, so that means I gotta put a second coat on these to match, because these are the doors that go in that area right there. And then I'm also going to use the vacuum sander, and I was gonna do this out at anchor, but since we've got a couple more um, days before we get to launch, I'm going to do this here, is make this all match. So I'm going to vacuum sand all this and get it down to be ready to match all that. And I'm also going to sand down this main hatch. That skylight needs um, just a light 220. We noticed a pretty bad spot. I got to be careful stepping on these. They're, they're drying, but they're not. You're allowed to step on them after a couple hours. It's been about two hours already. Um, the top of this, this is the tabernacle for the mast. This, see that? That's not looking very good. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take this all off, sand this all down. Yeah, the net's done. Check it out. Should I step on the net, Pete? All right, here I go. But it's not that bad. You just gotta get used to that. Oh no, this is like. Is it too big? No, this is perfect. Lay down then. This is the cool thing here. <laughs> if we're going sailing and the water splashes up, I could be like. Psh, you can slip right psh. Into that too. Yeah. You know, to make the whole hole. We always have a safety uh, mesh we put across there when we go ashore. You know what I'm saying? Eh. <laughs> Come on, we're sailors. You gotta put a knife in your teeth and climb the rig. Yeah, man, this is super, super strong. Ah. It's cozy without that piece of rope in there. Holy cow, this is so cool. Pete, this is really cool. All right, get out of here. Really? Yeah, What? <laughs> You're gonna have like a 300 foot wave come and splash in this mofo. Pete actually has been out here before and I've seen him where he'd hang on to the bowsprit. Tell him about it Pete, how you'd hang on to the bowsprit and go under the water. I went to about my waist. Yeah, and you're hanging on. I had to hang on because he hit the water so hard and knocked you off. Yeah. 
But you were yeah. clipped in. You had a, yeah. We had a rope that went across here. Hey, that'd be good for what this is. That's what that is. Oh. But I was going to use it for both. That's, that's really for the heart. Sanding and uh, I'm gonna sand down this hatch now.